Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the cold environment of the tundra and polar biomes, focusing on key characteristics. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. We will start off by describing what we mean by cold environments. We can categorise cold environments into polar or tundra. The polar and tundra biomes are the regions surrounding the north and south poles, with average monthly temperatures that are always below freezing. Cold environments cover one quarter of the Earth's land surface. They are found at high latitudes where cold, sinking air generates freezing winds and the sunlight is thin. In the southern hemisphere, it is the continent of Antarctica, which is a landmass covered in ice and is home to the South Pole. In the northern hemisphere, it is the northernmost parts of Canada, Russia, the part that we know as Siberia, Norway, Sweden and Finland, as well as Greenland and Alaska. These all surround the North Pole. The North Pole is made up of ice, so it changes annually. Let's have a think about the climate in cold environments and just how extreme it can be. At the highest latitudes, the sun does not even rise for several months of the year. A good example of this is Alert on the northeast coast of Ellesmere Island, Canada, which is the world's darkest populated settlement. Located at 82 degrees north, its tiny handful of residents receive no sunlight for 50 days annually. The most extreme example of a cold environment is Antarctica, where it is less than zero for most of the year. Few people want to live in such extreme conditions. Cold environments can be categorised into the polar and tundra biomes. So what's the difference between the two? Well, the polar biome is colder, so we're going to discuss that one first. The polar biome is found in inland areas far from the warming influence of the sea. It includes Greenland, northern Canada, northern Russia or Siberia and Antarctica. The average monthly temperature is always below freezing and winter temperatures can fall to minus 50. This allows snow and ice to accumulate over time, so polar regions are partly or completely covered with ice caps. Overall, there is very little precipitation, and what there is, is mainly snow. They receive similar precipitation totals as hot deserts. This is because the cold air cannot hold much water vapour. In polar regions, the soils are permanently covered by ice, so therefore they're permanently frozen. Some plants, such as mosses and lichens, are found on the fringes of the ice. There are few animal species at the poles. You will find polar bears in the Arctic region and penguins in Antarctica. Polar regions present such a harsh environment that few permanent settlements are ever established, though these regions have been the focus of exploration. However, the people who do live in polar regions in traditional groups are known as indigenous people. These groups use their knowledge of the polar ecosystem to find the resources they need to survive. Some of these groups are nomadic, meaning that they move to find resources. OK, let's move on to the tundra biome. The tundra biome is slightly less harsh, but still presents a very challenging environment to survive in. Let's take a look at its characteristics. The tundra biome is found south of the ice caps in the northern hemisphere, occupying around one fifth of the Earth's land surface, and it includes enormous areas of Russia and Canada. These places lack permanent ice cover, but experience very cold weather for most of the year, dropping to minus 20 in winter. It is slightly warmer, but wetter than the polar biome. Most of the ground is permanently frozen, which is known as permafrost, but this melts closer to the surface in the summer. Deeper soils remain frozen all year round with the ice below. This acts like an impermeable barrier and it prevents the melted water from infiltrating the soil above, meaning the soil on the surface becomes quickly waterlogged. Soils have low fertility as there is little plant life and decomposition is slow in low temperatures but also the water drains the nutrients quickly. Tundra means treeless place in Finnish, so this biome is mainly low-lying shrubs and mosses, such as saprophage and bearberry. Because the environment is much less severe than the polar biome, many species of animals live here, such as the arctic fox, the arctic hare, musk ox, caribou and the tundra wolf. 
Migratory birds are also found here in the summer, as well as insects which thrive in the poorly drained conditions when the surface soils thaw. Indigenous people also live in tundra regions, often supporting themselves by fishing. However, in tundra regions, permanent settlements are being developed close to new developments such as oil fields in order to benefit from the jobs created. Economic development could have a major impact in this fragile ecosystem. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the characteristics of cold environments like the polar and tundra biomes. Thank you for watching.